Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On the series Strategy Game End, we're returning to a Let's Play of Order of Battle World War II. We're playing the Burma campaign of the British, so one of the, let's say, um, not that well-known campaigns of World War II. Uh, we are getting into one of the more well-known scenarios, arguably, uh, the British Naval Squadron Force that. So that is the Prince of Wales and the Repulse uh, down here in Malaya. They were sent out to intercept a couple of Japanese convoys as they were landing on Malaya. Um, and we're going to start this scenario over here and see what that is going to bring us. There is one thing that we got from the last scenario. I think it's a fighter squadron, uh, which probably is just as well because historically these two uh, battleships or battleship and battle cruiser were, uh, did come under air attack, uh, air naval attack from the Japanese forces um, historically and they were beaten pretty heavily there. So yeah. That's probably what's going to happen here. So let's start the briefing. A force that has been dispatched to intercept Japanese troop convoys en route to the Malayan Peninsula, indeed. While en route, the squadron has been spotted by the enemy, however, and soon came under intensive attack from Japanese aircraft. Both Prince of Wales and Battlecruiser Repulse have already taken a serious pounding. To aid the ships, elite fighters from Kanotan must be scrambled immediately. So let's start over here, and it's actually the Japanese start first, so there they go, uh, bombing our ships. Not much we can do about that for now, and we'll of course have to intercept them in a while. And you can see probably these are our ships. I'm not entirely sure what ships we have got over there, and we're probably going to have to check that in a second. Apparently they are also attacking our ground installations down here, although I don't think that's quite as important. Remember there's an aircraft over here. We've got a couple of aircraft there. So here we go. Uh, our primary objective is to defend force that. We do want to shoot down 10 Japanese aircraft so that we get a good fighter pilot. We do not want to lose any destroyers and we would want to sink at least one Japanese ship. When battlecruiser HMS Repulse had taken a fatal hit, its captain ordered the crew overboard shortly after the ship listed heavily to port, rolled over and finally sunk with heavy casualties. So indeed, um, let's have a look over here. Okay, so yeah, this ship is already gone completely. We do have a destroyer over here and we've got still three ships up here. Most of which seem to be doing relatively fine. So we've got the Prince of Wales there. We've got an E-Class destroyer and we've got the destroyer battle up here. So yeah. Probably we are going to concentrate on defending these areas here. Um, I think over here we'll probably not be doing so hot. We've got two enemy aircraft up here. We've got a couple of aircraft of our own and we can buy at least one fighter, I suppose. Uh, but let's start out here. So we've got a short uh, th Sunderland, uh, which I suppose we can move up here to get a bit of better view. And we've got this Japanese aircraft, the IGE-13A, up here. So we could either move you all the way up there, we could also fight these guys down there. But I suppose since we do want to shoot down a number of enemy aircraft, I think what we probably want to do here is come up all the way over here, start to engage these guys. Yeah, minus two, that's a good, good result there. It's increasingly difficult to shoot down aircraft as you send in more planes, so as they are getting less and less uh, power, basically it's, it's becoming more difficult to shoot them down. Right, so we're definitely going to purchase an aircraft over here. Fighters, yes, that uh, does sound lovely to me. So we have got three command points uh, in terms of air, so we can buy basically a single fighter, either of these fighters. We could um, get the Buffalo, axles against enemy combat fighters, uh, sorry, against com fighters and tactical bombers, okay. We've got the Bristol Bow Fighter. So the Buffalo is historically one of the worst aircrafts that the Allies had. Hurricane would of course be much, much better. You can see it has basically, we are looking at the attack against aircraft large and attack against aircraft small and the defense against air. And you can see this one is just has much better values in all of these numbers. Well, at the very least on the attack. So the Hurricane much better than the Buffalo. Why is the Buffalo more expensive though? The Buffalo is slightly better in attacking 
ships and ground based stuff. But the Hurricane is much faster. Could also get the Hurricane Mark II C, which is again slightly better. Not quite sure why you'd ever buy the Hurricane, the base Hurricane. Oh, okay, because you are designed as a ground attack craft and you are designed as a fighter, okay? So, yeah, this one is slightly better. How about the Spitfire? I suppose. Okay, so the Spitfire is much better at fighting small aircraft. 11 instead of 8, whereas it's not quite as good as in, in fighting larger aircraft. It is better at defending though and it's slightly faster. So I think the Spitfire is what we're gonna buy over here. Um, let's set you up over here I suppose. Yeah, let's set you up here. Can't move you because we've just bought you. Um, and indeed we don't have any further ships or aircraft. Don't think we can deploy these guys. Can we deploy you anywhere over here? Just as AA? No, it doesn't look like that. So, we're gonna end our turn. They are bombing that destroyer over there. Not much we can do about that. But apparently it's holding out relatively well. Yeah, more attacks against these destroyers and the repulse. The Prince of Wales, we'll see. Yeah. At least they are losing a little bit there. They are also continuing their ground assault over here. Will you be defending? No, it's just adjacent. They've got a lot of planes over there. Additional aircraft squadrons have already for deployment. They should be launched immediately. Yes, yes, yes. So, an, a KI-10 and a KI-27. I think these guys are fighters. Mostly. Yeah. Alright. So, we've got our fighters down here. They could attack these bombers here, but I'm not sure that's really what we need to do. I think we'd much rather come up over here and start to shoot down this aircraft here. Because I'm not so much worried about the land installations down there. If they want to kill that, then sort of be my guest. It's not really that critical. Uh, this buffalo here, I suppose you could come over there in between these two ships and start to engage. So who's the bigger threat? Well, I suppose we just want to make sure that we are shooting down a couple of aircraft, so let's try to do that. And also this is the more important ship, of course. Let's get over here so that we are shielding that aircraft against some of these guys that are potentially not quite able to, to make it around there. So that looks sensible to me. We've still got the Sunderland over here. And I suppose we do want to try to find out more further uh, for more enemies. We can buy further aircraft here. We've got three additional things that we could buy. So let's buy another Spitfire, um, which we're going to set up. So what? You are small and you are considered large. Okay. So yeah, let's buy another Spitfire, which we're going to set up over here. We haven't... Oh no, I, we we have. Okay, too bad. Right. Um, and let's buy a Bristol Bullfighter. So this guy is an interceptor and ground attack craft. Um, so he's a little bit better at... at attacking large aircraft. He's basically... Yeah. So we've, we, are, we are shifting our workload a little bit between these guys. Right. So that's it. Um, end of turn. Okay, the destroyer is now moving, that's good to see. Yeah, some engagements over there. Because we have put them up there. This guy is starting to attack us, but we are also doing some damage against him. This guy is taking some damage. One of these guys has been going north there. Oh, of course, you're still making it over there. But at least we are defending with two fighters here. So that's nice to see. A veteran fighter squadron has been formed, composed of pilots who gained combat experience during previous operations. Yes, very lovely. Very lovely indeed. So this is a Hurricane Mark II, so another very good aircraft um, that we're definitely going to try and bring up over here. And that should be very helpful for us. That, I think, is what we got uh, from the last, uh, from winning in the last turn. 
Prince of Wales is still looking fine. This fighter aircraft now is not looking so hot anymore. Mm, but we've got the... So firstly, maybe, let's bring you up over here. I know there's a, there's an aircraft up here somewhere. Somewhere over here there must be an aircraft and it would be great just to try and, and conquer that. Again, I'm not so worried about these aircrafts down here. I think it might make much more sense to try and safeguard our uh, our ship. So let's bring up all of these guys. And that's fine. But I don't know where that aircraft is. Could try to come up with you here. But of course... To me, most importantly, we should try to... To deal a little bit of damage over here. It would be great to attack this guy. On the other hand, it would be also great to just shoot down aircraft. And I think that guy has been extremely damaged. Also, you're not you're not doing that great. I mean, you're down to five. Okay, let's try to bring you over here. Okay, he's over there. Okay, I can't reach you with the Spitfire. So, I suppose what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And we're going to attack their fighters. Good result there. Minus four, zero, that's very good. And you could come here and engage these guys. Although that would leave us somewhat exposed to, to any attack down here. So I suppose you might be doing better down here. It, it's a shame that we are not getting this guy. But we don't have any any guarantee, so to say, uh, that be that we'd be shooting him down. Let's try to deal with the fighter here, just so that we have a little bit more flexibility there. And that's okay. And destroyer moving up there. Japanese probably up, still bombing down here. Not a big issue. Oh, interesting. You're fighting over there. Well, at least we've drawn you away. Oh, and there are some ships. Interesting. Some aircraft over here, so a couple of places to to also. That's okay. And we are being continuing, continually, continuously defending over there. Okay, let's bring you up over here. I think we'd probably want to get a view of these two ships there, and then we can start to grab these guys so you here are considered a large aircraft you're considered a large aircraft you are considered a large aircraft so basically all of these guys that's interesting let's bring you ooh, four against one two against zero let's bring you up over here and we do want to try to shoot this guy down we've got the Spitfire or we've got the Hurricane. Hurricane is slightly better against large aircraft. So we're going to bring you up over here. And engage over there. He's not quite done for yet. So let's bring up another Spitfire here. And let's engage him and hopefully shoot him down. My apologies there. Right, so where were we? We were defeating, um, we were shooting down basically an aircraft over here, over the Prince of Wales. So it's nice to see that we are making some progress over there. Um, and we do, I think, want to start attacking some guys over here though. So we've got this Spitfire. It would be extremely tempting to come up here and start to, start to deal some damage there. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do. There we go. What else have we got? We've got this fighter and we've got another buffalo down here. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring you up here and start engaging this guy. No point, but shooting down one of these guys. And that's okay because we have now shot down three, three guys and that is much closer to our objective. 
Also got this Spitfire over here. And I suppose there's not much we can do. But at any rate, I think... Well, we could come over here and that would probably... Yeah, let's come over here. Shoot at these guys. And that should teach them a little bit of a lesson. Right. You here are a little bit... shot up already so we probably won't bring you home and I think there's no point in attacking over there so let's bring it down here um, and let's simply attack this guy and that brings you closer to home so that's fine and I think we can end our turn here they are coming after us they're probably gonna shoot us down eh, not quite it's not too bad though more attacks down there and more and more ships on the left side there. Yeah, these are probably the convoys that we've been talking about. Or that we have um, learned about. Right. The big question is what are they going to do with their aircraft? Send most of them north. There's one coming down there. Being shot up pretty badly. The battleship HMS Prince of Wales, a sitting duck after taking serious damage to its prop propulsion, now sinks beneath the waves. As survivors fill the water, our focus must shift to protecting the rescue operations. Okay, so unfortunately we were not able to save them. Not much that can be done about that, I suppose. Right, and I think I want to move over here. So what have we got over here? A light cruiser, a destroyer and something else up there. Right, all in all, I think we are relatively fine over here. This is a large aircraft, so... Ooh, there is a fighter as well. Can we grab one of our Spitfires, please? Okay, let's bring the Spitfire up here. Let's try to shoot down that fighter. I think the Hurricane or either the Spitfire. Mm. Let's bring him over here. Come on, shoot him down. No, just failed. How about you? There's no immediate benefit to attacking these guys. Let's just come down here with this buffalo. Attack these guys. So he is now gone down. That's good to see. Right. And that means this Bristol Befighter can either engage these guys or up there these guys. Let's try to kill him. Also to protect this destroyer. So you get down to one. You could attack, but that would not necessarily be the best. You are still around, and you are. Okay, who is ready? So, not that many, actually. Okay, let's grab you. Let's get over here. Shoot him down. So yeah, yeah, you're gaining more experience by the day, pretty much there. So that's nice to see. That basically only leaves this Spitfire here. Could do two damage against either of these guys. Or one damage against you. Because you are large. And I think you are considered... No, no, both of you are considered large. Hmm. And you definitely want to come home. Yeah, that's alright. Good. So only... Well, you're alright as well. Let's bring you up over there. So deal more damage against these guys up there. No, I think just try to do more damage down here. I think this is a fine choice. Good, yeah. I like it. Good. Next turn. And destroyers are moving about. We'll need to make sure that we can maybe engage them. They're continuing to bomb us. They're trying to withdraw some aircraft there. It would be great to sink at least one of these ships. We've shot down five enemy aircraft. A group of Buffalo fighter aircraft has arrived to assist us against the increasing Japanese activities. And a Wildebeest. <laughs> Wildebeests were also extremely bad aircraft, honestly. So, uh, nevertheless, I think you are at least capable of attacking enemy shipping. So that is good to see. Got another destroyer over here. Another destroyer there. And that's probably still the light cruiser. Um, you, my friend, need to come... 
Let's say down here. A little bit unfortunate that he can't make it further. Sinking ships over there. We have... Most of our guys seem to be alright over here. Some of them might have to withdraw relatively soon. Got a good number of fighters there. Let's send the Wildebeest up towards potentially taking these guys. You're not equipped with torpedoes, just normal artillery. Let's get the buffalo up here. We've also got this aircraft down here. Can anyone reach there? I suppose not. These are way too far away. What we could actually do is do come down here and engage them. But yeah, that does make sense. Right. How about you come up here so we know that these guys are still around. Good. And I suppose you are large aircraft. Yep. So let's come up with the bow fighter. Doing some damage there. That's good. Can't quite reach there. That's unfortunate. You could reach up here. So that's nice to see. You could reach up there as well. You cannot. Okay, so let's bring you here. And start to engage this guy. We really do want to make sure that we are... Yes, very good. Very nice result over there. Okay, you do need to come back towards the airfield. Let's bring you that way. You're a little bit hamstrung. Let's bring you here. Engage this guy. And engage them again. Right. At least they are taking a lot of damage there, so that's nice to see. You cannot quite make it over there, so I suppose we probably want to send you down here as well. And get ready to potentially land and, and be ready that way. Destroyers are buzzing around. We're dealing more damage there. They are also engaging our aircraft. Uh, sorry. Our uh, ground installations. Oh, they are coming in back. Back in. That's probably the transport. And we do want to try to at least engage one of them. Ooh, this is many, many more aircraft. Additional destroyers have entered the region to search for survivors. These are re They are requesting air cover against the Japanese bomber attacks. I can't move you around. Okay, so you sir, do need to land. That's pretty much understood. I think you need to come down here as well, simply to start and land as well. You can try to boss these guys. You could land this turn. Okay, let's bring it down. Let's engage over here. I think after that you'll not be able to land. No, unfortunate. Okay, fine though. We've got another buffalo up here. And I think a buffalo can shoot this guy down. Yeah, so that's good. 7 out of 10 sunk. Now over here, these guys are all relatively strong in, in terms of defense. So not much we can do about these guys. A lot of our aircraft are buzzing around over here, and we've sent a couple of guys over there, but I'm not too sure. Okay, let's come down here. And we've got one. A number of KI-48s. Small aircraft. Let's bring it down here. Start to engage them, start to decimate them. I think that's a good idea. Nice. Good result over there. Who else have we got? Only the bow fighter and the wildebeest. Good. 
good result. Very good result. So the Vittle the Beast then. We could attack over here. We'd be taking some damage in return. So I'm I'm slightly more fa in favor of attacking these guys up there and potentially driving them out. And that wouldn't be the worst idea. Okay. So that's looking good. Just while I was buzzing around, doing their rescue operations or whatever it is. Yeah, we will need to make sure that these guys here are safeguarded. To the extent possible. Oh, they are now blowing up our airfield. That's unfortunate. This destroyer is taking some damage there, I suppose. They are trying to pass by us. And there are the transports. Not sure whether these aircraft do fight us. Wow, we are taking a lot of damage there. Wow. Wow. Man, this bow fighter has has been taking such a beating there. That's that's incredibly awkward. Okay, so these guys again supply ships, so I suppose let's try to get over here, let's try to do an attack there. Minus four, so they are nearly done, and it would be great to defeat them. Couple of fighters up there that I suppose we want to engage. Also a couple of aircraft here. We are, we are basically out of out of fuel. That's an issue. Right. You, my friend, need to land, I suppose. We could come over here and try to defeat these guys. Did we land someone? Or was that guy maybe destroyed by this bomber? That'd be interesting. I didn't know that would be possible. Okay, let's bring up the Spitfire. Let's engage over here. Nearly done for. And you just need to land. Right, that's okay. You here. You could come up there. By the way, can you move? No, you can't. So with all of these wildebeests, can't really do that much. But I suppose I do want to shoot you down. Okay, that's fine. Good. Good result over there. So let's, since we can't get anywhere where we can engage their aircraft, let's at least try to safeguard our bow fighter so that it's not being shot down that way. Right, and then we've got all of these units up here. So, since I, I would really like to destroy these fighters, but that just doesn't seem possible, so I suppose what we do need to do is we've got two Spitfires and a Hurricane, right? So, Hurricane is the best at defeating these sort of lava aircraft. Let's send you there. Send you here. Lieutenant General Percival himself sends you congratulations for making the Japanese pay dearly for the sinking of forces that that as a reward he's assigned an ace pilot to your command. Your commander is available, so let's have a look at this guy. He is He would be slightly better at defense against enemy air, so could send you up against uh, on this fighter here, and that would hopefully help you out a little bit. Um, otherwise we could really Use it on one of these hurricanes, I think. Yeah, let's do it on the hurricane. I think that's all right. And you're doing that in a range of one, I suppose. So all of these guys are now slightly better at defending against air. Sounds re reasonable enough. Right, so you can either attack over here or come down here and, and attack just any of these guys. Let's come down there. Attack this guy. Good result. Yeah, I like it. And then we only have the Sunderland. So, we know that they are here. I suppose I would like to make sure that we are over this aircraft, uh, sorry, over this destroyer. Uh, also again to protect our bullfighter here a little bit. So, yeah. 
a lot of enemy fighters, a couple of enemy like dive bombers or something. So KF-48, no these are level bombers I think. Yeah, but KF-51, yeah. KF-27s, yeah, so these are enemy fighters. Uh, they will be bothersome. We'll need to deal with this here a little bit. Uh, but I'm fairly sure that we'll also be able to uh, sink at least one enemy ship. And whether or not we're going to lose a destroyer. Do not do not lose any destroyers. Okay, that's that's tough. Protect the British destroyers. No special award. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably lose at least one. I I don't think there is any way how we cannot lose any destroyers. Well, for now they are all good, but I think that's not going to hold out for for that much longer. Right, you are going to be alright. So you defeated this entire airfield. Just by bombing it. Well, that's unfortunate. Especially since all of our guys will make, need to make it home uh, very soon. Yeah, so there's a little bit of a gap there. But, that being said, I think this is a very good place to put in a cut. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I do hope to see you around next time. Bye-bye.